Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video, I'll show you how to make a main menu screen. This video, I won't be making a logo for the game, but if you want me to make an updated tutorial, because my last t um, logo tutorial is a little bit what's well, wonky and I have better tricks and tips for making a logo. So if you'd like to see that, I'll gladly make one. But for this main menu, we're just going to be having a play button and we're just going to use a text for now for the logo. So go to starter GUI, open that, and let's go to our main screen UI. In there, let's add a frame. In this frame, let's real quick. Let's scale it to, let's make it the entire screen size. This is going to be our full main menu size. I'm going to change this here. Now, rename the frame by right clicking and pressing rename, double clicking on the name or pressing F2. And then let's name it main menu. Go to the properties tab, find background transparency and make that one so it's invisible. Now we can do vis mm, maybe we shouldn't do that start. Mm, yeah. Let's go into visible and talk toggle, toggle it off. I can speak in the properties tab. Go to main menu or our frame and press the plus insert a text button this will be our play button for now go to the main menu frame go to visible property and make it visible now get your button move it to where you'd like this will be our play button now go to your button either cl click on the name right click and press rename or press f2 and let's name it play now you can design it however you'd like and then add a UI corner to make it rounded. I'm going to have make it have a bluish color. I'm going to make the text scaled. Make the text say play. Make the font, let's say Gotham Bold. Make it colored white. So this is going to be my play button. Now in main menu, press the plus insert a text label or an image label if you want to put a logo scale your text label how you'd like I'm gonna make it like this now this is optional you can make the background transparency one or not I'm gonna make it one because I just wanted the text but if you want to add a background to the text you may now customize it how you'd like I'm going to do text scaled, make the text say super power training simulator tutorial, scale it out a bit, I'm going to make the text font Gotham bold, I'm going to make the color white, and maybe I'll add a little bit of a stroke. Mm. That seems pretty good. Yeah, that's not bad. Oops, my bad. I'm clicking on things on accident. Now, go to your text label or image label. Let's rename it to logo. And that's our main menu design completed. Now, Go into your play button, press the plus, insert a local script. In this local script, we're going to remove print hello world and we're going to do script.parent.mouse button one click to connect function. No parameters and hit enter. So this is getting when the button is pressed and it'll do whatever we put in here. All we're going to do is do script.parent.parent.visible equals false so when we press the button our main menu frame will become invisible and for a little bit of design if you'd like go to your toggle button or your open button for the stats and make it visible in the properties to false 
go back into your main menu go to play and open up your script and what we're gonna do is script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot parent dot toggle or I might add too many parents so three parents or it depends on however you many parents you have so it'll be the script parent which is the play button the play buttons parent which is the main menu and the main menus parent which is the main screen UI and the toggle that's inside of it dot visible equals true that's our play button let's go ahead and test it this will be possibly a short video so as you can see here we can move and such in the background you can edit that or not when you press play th the main menu goes away and we have our open button here which you can open and close now we can add a settings button if you'd like you can duplicate the play button or remake it by pressing ctrl d or right clicking and duplicating it you can rename it to settings and let's go to our properties change the text to settings now this button we can just make between a frame so inside our main menu press the plus insert a frame this frame I usually make it overlay everything but you don't have to if you don't want to I'm going to make it a bit like this for once now design it how you want make sure you rename it to settings frame or something similar I'm going to add a UI corner I'm going to make the color a blue color and that will be my frame I'm going to make it a bit thinner now what you should do is you should select the settings frame go into your properties and copy the position then get your settings frame and drag it out of the scene or you can just drag it into the side now go to your settings button open up the script if you duplicated it if you didn't press the plus add in a local script remove print hello world and what we're going to do is script dot parent dot mouse button one click connect function so this gets when the button is pressed we're going to do local or let's do this beforehand local frame equals script dot parent dot parent dot settings frame this makes a variable called frame to get our settings frame let's do settings frame or let's do frame tween position and this udim2 dot new so we can add a new position and paste in your position so this will tween our frame so it moves smoothly and this is udim2 new making a new position you can remove the brackets I usually do that I'm not sure if it works without because I've never tried it and now we're going to do enum dot easing style dot in or actually easing direction direction dot in out so this gets our direction it's going to ease I'm just going to do in out because it makes it a little bit more optimized I'm going to do enum dot easing style dot quad so it's going to play this animation with the quad easing style and then you set how long you want it to take to move I'm going to do 0 0.5 and then it's an override and a boolean these I'm not 100% sure the meaning but I usually do false nil as it works fine now to make it go away let's make a new variable at the top called local is visible and let's keep that as default to false so a new variable to false now in our mouse button one click function we're going to do if is visible equals equals false then so this is going to check if it's equivalent to false so if it is then we're going to run this line so we can cut that and paste that in there and now we should set it to true so we're going to do is visible equals true so when the player presses the button if it's false then it's going to make it true 
and then we're going to do else if is visible equals equals true then is visible equals false and now you may copy this line frame tween position you can paste this in the else if statement so this is like saying if a rock hits a window and it doesn't break you're safe if the rock hits or else if the rock hits a window and it does break you're not safe it's that's pretty much how an else if statement works so if it's false then do this but if it's true then do this so now we're gonna get the new position click on settings frame go to position and copy it now replace the numbers we have in the brackets here you can remove the extra brackets if you'd like and this should be our script so let's real quick test it out now as you can see press settings the frame comes back you probably should have made an X out button but it's practically the same script press settings and it keeps coming back and goes away I'm going to move settings to the side because I think I would like that more go to your play button and go into the script well, actually this is now fine should work fine so our settings button should be good you can see settings it comes there goes away once you press play everything goes away and the open menu is available so that's how you make a main menu we'll make it better later in a future video and we're going to optimize the settings a bit so we actually have a purpose for the settings page hope this video was helpful to you and bye